How awesome would it be to have a computer generate melodies for you? It could be an infinite source of random ideas and inspirations. Well, today we'll make one. So the reason why having a computer generate melodies for you is so amazing is that every single time you get a different result, you can't really expect what melody you, you will get. You can really get an infinite amount of melodies. So today we are going to be focusing on this. I'm going to break down this melody generator. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to get this MIDI rack for free and generate some melodies. I can't really tell if you can make this melody generator in a different dots i guess you can but um i don't really know so let's see what you can get with it So as you can see, every single time there's a different melody playing and the melodies from it are sometimes good, sometimes average. Most of the time after you export this as a MIDI, you will have to tweak some notes to make it sound the way you want. But sometimes it can generate really nice melody sections. Let's try and generate some and then we'll just go into making one from scratch. Pretty nice. Then you can basically do this. You can duplicate, you can chop up melodies, repeat them. So let me create a new MIDI track and let's make this from scratch. So we have just a serum plug with a reverb and delay. So what we need to do is we, we need to somehow be able to create a rhythm. So we can add arpeggiator and this is gonna create a rhythm. So it'll be dependent on this rate here. So remember we're just playing one note here. We're just holding one note. So let's say I want like one eight. And then what we need to do is generate different pitches of one note. So we are playing only C now and I want to be able to generate 12 different pitches because there's 12 notes in the scale, right? So there's a MIDI effect for it called random. And then I'm going to just put it after the arpeggiator. So now the chance that it will change the pitch of the note is 0%. We want this to be able to change every single time or if you want less melody changes you can do like 70 percent or less now as you can hear we're getting some melody right so if you want the melody to go from like a uh, root note 12 semitones up or root note 12 down or be like six up six down you can just use these different modes here It now creates some melodies. You can go ahead and export that if you want, but this is not going to be in any scale. Also, you can increase choices to like 24, to octaves. So it goes higher. If you do bipolar, uh, it's going to go 12 up, 12 down. That's pretty cool. You can also add scales, so it can go really high. So now what we need to do is we need to put this melody in a specific scale, like C major, right? So if you go to scale MIDI effect, there's this C major scale. You can just drag this here. Remember that the order you're putting these effects in matters. So now this melody is in a C major scale. You can change the base of the scale, maybe to like a D sharp major. If you want the minor scale, just put up the C minor scale and then change the base to a desired key. Now we are in E minor scale. So let's stick to D sharp major or maybe C major so it's less confusing. So now we have a rhythm, now we have a different notes we also are in 
one scale so everything is in tune now what we need to do is we need to be able to change the speed of the rhythm there's a max for life device for it if you don't have max for life lfo you may not be able to do, do this so lfo is an audio effect it's not a midi effect it's an audio effect but even if it's an audio effect you can assign midi knobs to it now we need to go and map a rate to this right so now it, the the rate is different every single time this is not quite what we are going for i'm gonna set this for like 50 to 85 and then as you can see it's it's switching between 1 16th and 1 4th so it's less of a difference and you're not getting these really quick notes or really slow ones Then what we need to do is we need to again randomize it. So if we go to sign here, you can set random. Now, every single time the value of this will change to a random value and it will stick to it for one hertz. We want this to be beats, obviously, and we're gonna set this to beats and set the rate to like one, one second. So every single time, as you can see right now, the speed of the melody changes. So now if you play it, So that's that. You can speed this up if you want more changes. Now we, we can use different scales. C major scale, pretty basic. Instant scale. I don't know what's, what's this. I, I see this for the first time. Hirayoshi scale. I like this one. So now once you have this, you can start exporting melodies. So ba basically now it just creates melodies and it's just playing melodies somewhere. You're not getting the exact notes from the melody. You're not getting any MIDI. So now we have to route this to a MIDI track. So create a new MIDI track. Then you go set a Serum 2, which is the, the melody generator. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just melody gen. So now we can just click this here. Then we go and maybe duplicate the serum here so we have the same sound. Now we can just arm the track and hit record. And it created some melody. So this one is pretty average. Maybe let's do another one. So before we go into any melody processing and turning this into the actual cool sounding melody, uh, I have one last trick to show you. You can also do chords here. There's also a MIDI effect called chord. And if you apply it after random, you can set, uh, maybe let's go here and choose a major chord. Well, there wasn't too much changes, but that's cool. Now, if we take a look at this, we have some chords. Well, every single chord here will not be major. So the reason why is because we have this scale here. So even if we are using a chord major here, we are still getting a minor chords because this is being like limited by the scale effect. So that's cool. We are getting some unique. So we got this, I'm gonna just delete this. So the reason why we did that is because it's much easier to manipulate the melody when it's in audio. You can see the waveform, you can chop it up. You can visually see what the sound looks like. You have more control over this. Yeah, so as you can see, this sound is playing triplets. Not the best situation, but what we can do is we can... And I like this part. I'm just gonna cut this here and when you grab the end of the clip when it's warped with the control you can slide it and align with the grid so now as you can see as we just stretch this it's in the grid just playing along with the metronome so let's say i'm, I'm just gonna pick this one this part i'm gonna just loop it
Yeah, because we are stretching this to the left, we are spitting this up, we can use a warping method called beats with a transients mode here and, a, and an arrow to the right. This is making it much higher quality. Now we can consolidate these two and we can start adding effects. So now the fun part begins. Secret sauce, welcome. Maybe put a half time on this. Pretty cool. Put a portal on this. Maybe put a crystallizer. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's reverse this. And with the crystallizer, let's export that. Now what happened? We should have a pretty cool delay. Uh, when we reverse it. So that's cool. I'm just gonna uh, export this once again. And there we go. We got a pretty nice melody. So there you have it. Uh, remember to go to the description and get this melody generator for free. Also, if you enjoyed this, you can side in the subscribe and like button because YouTube loves it. Have a nice day and see ya in the next one. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, we can side in that subscribe button. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality samples, presets and free sounds.